what is up everyone okay now i was looking over the videos i did and i have an idea where lawrence might be now if you remember oswald said that his brother traded it everything right and crispin said that sounded familiar so i was thinking it should be here i could be wrong but i think it's here I'd rather just leave it here. I'd rather just leave it here. Hey, boss, do you think that's yes. Lawrence's skull? It does look like it. Clarity, can I take this skull? Of course, unless it makes you feel barbaric. I apologize. <laughs> the law notices neither scorn nor approval. All right, Sissy, I have good ideas sometimes. Oh, jeez, excuse me. And. Yes, by now I realize that there are certain things I could have done differently. It's very easy for me to just reload the game and do it properly, but... You know, that's that's the thing about these games. It can be played over, so... I'm not too worried about that. Oh, actually, oh wait, no, what, uh, there's ADD. Wanted to look at this thing. It's a head from Clarity's trophy rack. There's a memory port near the base. Remind me to have someone else handle my funeral arrangements. Funeral? I just recycle you. My point exactly, boss. I know we do. Any significant memory will have been lost when he became a shell. The only thing I can find is the sequence 518, 518, over and over again. After the phrase, help me factor. That sounds like a glitch, boss, not part of the council code. Agreed. Okay. But I know who can tell me. Hey, you. Uh, yeah. I accessed Lawrence's memory and it contained a number repeated over and over again. 518. Do you have any idea what it means? Yes. It is a distress call used by factor built robots. Typical, but even in the end, he was looking for handouts. Goodbye. Parting is so. Uh, no. I. Hey. I. Uh, I have a brother's head. Oswald. <laughs> I think this might be your brother's head. A model of tact, huh, Clarity? <laughs> Alas, poor Lawrence. I knew him, Horatio. A robot of infinite jest, of most excellent fancy. But I do not care to have his skull. Do with it what you will. Jeez, well you're cool, aren't you? Is that, is that how you're really going to treat your brother, though? Goodbye. Uh. Much too quick to catch, and even if I could, what would I do with one? I don't know what is it, Crispin. Boss, I think I've been quite clear about the fact that I don't want to be eaten alive by another robot. Yeah. These submersible robots seem to be consuming the iron oxide in this runoff water. In other words, they'd eat us if we fell in. <laughs> Only our rust. Now I really wish uh... you'd polish me with that red, boss. Oh. I... I can't believe I missed that, actually. Hey. Hey! They picked the gear clean. How the hell did I miss that, though? They picked the gear clean. Alright! Let's go. And this this one was actually pointed out to me. So uh yeah. I've got no Hey boss, do you think that's Oswald's chain? Yeah, that one was pointed out to me. 
There it is. My Gospel of Man. It's waterproof? Apparently so. Yeah, so that, that actually wasn't a surprise. Someone actually pointed that out to me. So, uh, thank you. It's somewhat tarnished, but nevertheless, an impressive golden chain. The name Factor Man Built is etched into it. Oh, uh, and the beginning. All was still and silent. Then. Man, the all builder spoke the word, and the word begat the code, and so the world began to spin. Thus dawned the primordium, the first age, the age of building. On moved across the world and built many wonders. In the heavens he paved the sky roads, on the land he raised mystic towers. And in the dark depths he dug colossal caves. Most incredible of all were the many machines designed by man. But still, the all builder was not satisfied. Is yeah, okay. Oh, with both his hands, man built a body of steel in his own image, and with his right hand he gave logic and memory he gave with his left. Then man said, Now I will quicken this machine with the spark of power, and together we shall walk upon the earth. And it was done. Has spun the world, and grew the code, and, manip and multiplied the living machines, and slowly passed the primordium. Who can count the versions and generations that marked that age? In time, the all builder looked upon the many things he had built, the sky roads and mighty towers, and above all upon the living machines. Weary with his labor, man sat himself beside the robots and said unto them, For you, my children. I spoke the word and fired the engine of the world. For you I wrote the code, and to you I gave logic and memory. It's the gospel of man. Then, man the ore builder stood and took the machines in his hands and guided them so that, guided them to a great mountain top. Together they looked upon the world and its beauty. All this was made for you, and now unto you, all this is given. Keep it, tend it, and make it flourish. And the all builder fell silent and passed from the world, and so ended the primordium. We are lesser machines, built by those built by man. As we, as we are but humble Im images of the All Builder, so he is the perfection of our forms, a machine of unbreakable form, endless memory, and absolute logic. For this, we revere him and speak the word, and keep the code and tend the world he gave to us. I've read enough. That was actually pretty cool. All right, let's see, check. Yeah, I have some good amount of time left. <sighs> actually, a little disappointed. I couldn't figure that on my own to find the chain. Uh, it is what it is. All right. Bap. Bap. Where is it? Bap. And.
sure. Just... It's some kind of small metal disc with a U on it. It's some kind of small. Okay. Okay, let's go in. What is all that? It looks like a whole other city. That is Factor. Okay, I can't go in. Apparently, all that is part of Factor. It looks like some kind of radio tower. Oh, uh, don't tell me I. Oh, wait, actually. I think I do have the. What was it again? Just 518 over and over again. 518. Let's see that. Nope, oh, that's the wrong one. Five. One. Oh, jeez. Fuck, let me check how much time I have. Yeah, I have got time. Is that fact? for help, but you are not one of Factor's children. Oh, I, I am Horatio Nobelt, version 5. I thought that was Factor. These are my friends, Crispin and... Clarity Arbiter Belt. I know her, of course. I am Factor, partial of Factor Manbelt, who needs no introduction. Now I ask again, by what right have you called for help? Uh... Is Factor still alive? He sleeps. As do his thousands of children. He has left me, his partial, to manage his affairs. When the time is right, he will awaken and cover the world with steel and wire. Will he make me new arms? No. <laughs> he will recycle you into something more useful. Like a tank? Pew, pew. <laughs> no. Like a crankshaft. Uh... I need the council code so that I can enter the tower. Do you? Yes. The city is full of robots with many needs. They do not come here and transmit a cry for help. Only Factor can help me. Factor helps his children. We solved the legal dispute between Oswald and Cornelius Factor built. Please. Factor had little regard for those fools. Well. Uh... Metromind has ruined the city. Factor needs to help stop her. Factor allowed Metro Mind her mastery, knowing she would fail. When all it starts to rust, he will return and recycle it into something better. In the meantime, why should he care what happens to robots who mean nothing to him? That's very interesting. I know the routine by now. What do you want in exchange for the code? Nothing. Factor will do nothing for robots like you who mean nothing to him. He cares only for his children. Oswald and Cornelius chose not to sleep when Factor shut down. And he never cared for them anyway. Goodbye. It's very interesting. So, that's it? Boss, there has to be something we can do to make him realize that this matters to Factor. Uh... Ooh! Ooh! I have a head. You want head? I give you head. <laughs> do you recognize this? I do. It is the head of Lawrence Factor built. Are you threatening me? No. I'm showing you what Metromind has done while Factor slept. She turned Lawrence into a mindless shell, scavenging the underworks. The only thing he could still think was 518, over and over again, calling in vain for Factor to help him. I see. Do you? Give me the head. <laughs> That's what I he do said. I don't care what happens to the city. No one is fine. But he cared for Lawrence. You oh. have brought me a piece of Lawrence. So I will give you pieces of what you asked for. 7510-4803. As for the rest, awaken some other ghost. Give me the... <laughs> Oh my mature my. Okay, I'm gonna cut off here. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video.